Welcome to the last days of Warcast. Here comes Rob writing it down over here. <laughs> we are still the California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am apparently Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Josh. Uh, welcome to the show, gentlemen. First on the agenda, shots. Shots. Ah, oh, man. I do it out there, Rob. What's going on in the land of Texas? Uh, I'll tell you something. This week has been just uh, hectic. We're trying to get everything ready. And uh, yeah, it turns out we, uh, I think, been partying too much because we've been forgetting stuff from just two years ago. And it's been <laughs> racking our fucking brains this week. Um, and if you if you're a member of our Patreon account and you've seen some of our behind the music episodes and stuff, uh, you will know that for the longest time we thought we knew the name of the original name for Remain Untamed. Turns out we didn't. So we had to do a deep dive that lasted, uh, I would say, what, 48 hours? Probably. And, on um, uh, and on your end. <laughs> and... and Here's the best part now is this all ends with Mark getting punched when I get to California. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I didn't know it was there. I didn't know it was there. See, what we did oh, was man. is we all searched our phones for the words remain untamed and nothing was popping up with, hey, this is what is going to be now known as Remain Untamed, or hey, Remain Untamed is this song. It wasn't until we said, hey, we think it's this, that Mark typed it into his phone, and it's like, oh, yeah, right here. It says it right oh, here. Oh, right here. <laughs> Remain Untamed. It's this song. Well, if you would have just told me what it was in the first place, I could have found it a lot easier, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, that's, and that was the problem. We didn't, we didn't know what that was. Yeah, that, that was great. I'm on my way to your house, motherfucker. <laughs> Danny, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. Just hanging out. Um, like Rob said, we've been uh, working on some stuff. You know, we got an album coming out and all that stuff. So shows happening. So it's kind of a constant grind, you know. Why don't you give them those dates coming up really quick, Danny? We got a new single coming and the album. New single, uh, October 11th. Save yourself. We got a new album coming November 5th. We have a show on Halloween night at the District in Redlands, California. And we have a show November 2nd at Goodfellas in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Let's go. He remembered. And I have. Yeah. Just kidding. I remember all that shit. <laughs> I got it. How you doing, Josh? I'll be there. I'll be there, okay? Good. Way to remember all that shit. I'm glad I, somebody could, because I just need to know where I gotta be at. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm doing good. Uh, we had a good rehearsal last night at the studio. Everything went well. Uh, Everybody showed and, up. Uh, majority. Uh, okay. One of us still does not live in the state, so he could not be there. Okay. Won't mention any names, <laughs> but no rehearsal went well. We're getting ready for the shows coming up. I think we're. Being honest, 85, 90% there. Granted, you haven't been there with us yet, so we have to run through it a couple times with you, but I know we'll be good. But I feel good yeah. about it. And then ending the night with finding out that as soon as you get here, you're going to punch Mark. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, well, dude? I'm doing all right. I'm just uh, double-checking my insurance, making sure that it's good. And uh, so when Rob gets out here <laughs> and punches me, just punch me after the show, please. I want to make sure I'm, I'm conscious for that, please. <laughs> It'll be part of the aesthetic, we'll, you know? We'll, yeah, we'll save it for the CD release party. How about that? <laughs> the, last song the, fade, song the last too. song fade, the last song fades out. You just punch me right in the face. Oh, wow. <laughs> You just be in the middle of remaining oh, and and your part stops. And I the good, the good you. thing is, is that all of our original title, working titles for everything that's released on the album, we now know the names for. So we got Yeah, it. for sure. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Also, uh, before we start hopping into topics here, guys, I just want to take the time to go ahead and uh, promote our Kickstarter one more time. You guys, you heard us talking about the album. 
uh, we're just trying to get this thing started. You know, we're trying to get it kick started. So I started a Kickstarter. So <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested in that, it's available on all of our. Um, yeah, it's got about two more weeks left to do, right? Something like that. Something like that. Something, Something like that. Maybe Is less it? than. Yeah. Yeah, I think it ends at the end of this week, right? I think a week left. It, yeah. Oh shit! But, okay, but so there's a week left. Props is only going to be like three days, four days. You are right. I always so, forget that. This okay. is your last opportunity to hop on and pre-order the album. Yes, please um, do, guys. If you guys want to help out, there's there's many things that we're willing to do right now. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! We'll be making PB and J's <laughs> for every <laughs> physical copy album you order. He will also <laughs> mail you a sandwich. And uh, Rob will be making uh, P. Diddy J's. So. <laughs> oh, no. Those aren't edible. Speaking of P. Diddy. Hey, hey, good you segue. P. Diddy J? <laughs> it's peanut so, butter and KY jelly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so who well, wants I'm to get this topic kicked off? Uh, well, let's, let's take it in pieces. Uh, oh, First of all, they raided Diddy's compound. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, or I guess you could call it more of a warehouse, considering that they found a thousand two gallon jugs of baby oil. That is an absurd 1, amount 000, of baby oil. One thousand two gallon jugs. Back this up. This is like a water <laughs> bottle of baby oil. Now, unless you're a professional wrestling organization, do you ever need this much <coughs> baby oil? I don't even care if you have multiple babies. You do not need <laughs> this much baby oil, let alone multiplied by a thousand. It's crazy, dude. Um, I think everything that's coming out about this dude is, oh man, I just I'm just enjoying the shit show, man. What about you, Danny? What are you <laughs> how are you feeling about this? Well, I think when you have a pool full of what, like a thousand dildos, I think you're gonna hey. lose. Some... Yeah. Did you forget about that part? Yeah, they, they found all... like a kitty. They they filled like a kitty pool filled with dildos that the cops took a picture with. It's pretty hilarious. No, there was a lot. Of, there was a lot of <laughs> hey, there was a lot of dildos in that fucking picture there, bud. Hear me yeah, out. Man. A lot of dildos. Hear me out. Uh, I know every man's a good. Uh, judge of measurement <laughs> based off site. How big would you say this kiddie pool was? <laughs> it was a, it, well, if they were standing next to it. It was going through these dudes' waist. So assuming they were like average height dudes, it was probably like a four foot pool. Like three, four foot? Yeah, yeah, dude. A That's lot a lot of dildos. And, 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 not, and not only was it That's... filled with, with, with dildos, it was like over the top filled. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> they had the fire the pool cover on. They had the the fire department come in and drop fucking baby oil from the sky over that thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the made it real ass. difficult for the for the cops to the come cops up are the stairs. Dude up and P Diddy comes running out. You know, jumping in the man. pool. They all oh, try man. to run after him. He turns his place into a slip and slide. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! It's just they're so. You know, it's crazy. Is like they've been. There's been a lot of video clips coming out of people in interviews, even Diddy himself, like pretty much openly talking about the fact that this shit was going on and nobody really ever did anything about it. It's which is wild to me. It's <laughs> he's, mm-hmm. he's talking about he was on a he was on a uh, one of the talk shows, I forget who was who it was, but he was talking about like, oh, you know, you gotta make sure girls have a lot of wine and water and you know, locks on the doors and this and that. Like he straight says locks on the doors. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'll tell you this right now, and this is a fair warning to anyone we tour with or play with or associate with. <laughs> it's okay, you end up, going with this. <laughs> but if you end up becoming, or if you're, if I find out that you're like a piece of shit human. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, don't it, let me know that shit. It, don't let me know that it, you are. I'm I'm gonna go to the first person I see. Say, call the cops. There's gonna be bodies. Uh, yep. It's, it's <clears throat> like fuck no. I'm gonna put an end to this, and then everybody's gonna know about it. You know. 
but mm -hmm. but if you went to a Diddy party, let's say you weren't even involved. Let's say you were just like, hey, Diddy invited us at the club and we're going. He thinks we're famous people, but we're not. And you end up at a Diddy party. They get that all the time. Classic Thursday night, dude. You know, wrong door. Sorry. Oops. Uh, but if you <laughs> if you know if you know this shit's going on at a Diddy party, and you were at said party, and you didn't say shit until this point, you're you're still a piece of shit just like he is. Like, yeah. if you knew that this shit was going on with underage girls and, and or, you know just underage people, I don't know all the allegations, but holy shit, I know enough that it's just like. You, you do anything that crosses the moral grounds of, you know, you know, youth or uh, unwilling, <clears throat> um, unconscious, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start fucking with those lines and it's like, nah, dude, I'm not cool with that. Fuck you, get the fuck out of my face. We ain't working yeah. together anymore. We also and gotta so be careful. Really quick, we got to be very careful when we talk about this topic because I'm not sure exactly how much we're allowed to say on uh, TikTok and Instagram. Who's what is that got noise? fighter jets going overhead? That's my I just fucking had a gardener fighter just fucking zoom by, bro. Uh, no, that's my goddamn gardener uh, right next to my house. Oh, is that what that is? I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's like somebody's bro. got transformers outside their pad. You better fucking watch out. <laughs> No, he's oh. blowing the side of my house real quick, uh, and he's not good. <laughs> Just fucking perfect no, timing, man. Yeah, as long as someone's talking, it's fine because it cuts it out. But when no one's yeah. talking, you just like, it fucking sounds like gnarly burnouts yeah. in your driveway. We start well, talking like about last... Diddy, and, and his house starts getting blown. Careful. You better well, watch out. You're going to get an air drop <laughs> uh, fucking baby oil. They're going to come in. I don't know if. You were still there last night, Mark. Uh, we were outside the studio, and Jamie was working on some artwork on the iPad, and at the same time, a uh, fucking train was honking. And Rob's like, bro, <laughs> is your iPad making a train noise? Like, that's like perfect fucking timing when you draw. He was dragging it across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> going, what the fuck? I was Rip. not there for that. But I was there for, for Rob thinking that I was laughing like Jamie, apparently, in the background. Yep. <laughs> He's like, is that oh, you laughing, hey. Mark? I was like, I'm not. Oh, that was me. What are you about? talking about? You <laughs> kidding me? You didn't even stare at me. You know I don't laugh like I don't that? Laugh I like tee-hee. I be, I be tee-heeing, dude. Tee-hee. Tee-hee. Did that sound like me? No, that wasn't me. So dumb, dude. <laughs> One thing, one thing I gotta say is I can't wait for like for the movies to come out. Like I'm oh, excited yeah. about oh, yeah. the movie that's gonna be, that's gonna oh, be like the he, he means, movie, like the rap. Logo, he means a, a movie or... about it, not. <laughs> yeah, he thought you meant like about... actual video from Diddy's room. Like, no, 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 no. You just meant movie. We already have come out. Oh shit. <laughs> Just wait for a movie to come out that's better than reality, you know? Oh, fuck. Go ahead, no, Danny. You know, you know, that one you know movie we're going to get the whole, with... like, like, rap mobile gangster, like, you know, type movie. We're going to get the whole kind of, like, surviving Diddy, you know, documentaries and shit. It's going to be fucking crazy. Yeah. Do you think Johnson & Johnson not, goes not, bankrupt now? Not, not crazy <laughs> where this guy's mind goes. Where Rob's my ghost. Not that crazy. <laughs> <coughs> that, that, Did you hear what I said, Danny? In, in, uh, it's going to happen. In, you know what I'm saying? Josh, you okay? Danny. Yeah. No. I, I said, I do you think laughing. Johnson & Johnson goes bankrupt now? I saw a TikTok the other day of a, of a guy, and he, he had this glass of, you know, whiskey or something. And it says Johnson & Johnson in the background. It says, like, the CEO, and he's like, Fuck! He's all pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't think they're gonna go bankrupt because fucking did he buy a baby oil? <laughs> like, Damn, dude, it's Damn. so much, bro. Yeah. Oh, Josh doesn't know. So when we were talking about setting this up for the warcast, I was like, okay. you know what? It's funny because Amazon actually sells a fucking uh, a pallet of lube. 
And they're like, no way. And I was like, yep, check this out. And oh, we showed them at rehearsal. Just, we showed, we showed them that we showed them at rehearsal. It's not it's just like a big gallon of boxes. It is a full industrial gallon. like tub, forkliftable like tub. It's like almost 300 gallons. It's insane. It's like yeah, imagine, dude, they just. Dollars. They just grab you by your ankles and dip you in, dude, and fucking throw you on the bed. <laughs> they just, they, what they did with a uh, bunch. They probably just dip them. They just dip them, dude. Uh, and you're ready for the freak out. Go. You know? <laughs> just That's the way you get in. They just dip you in. You get baptized. Fucking they baptize you. I was thinking you, they the same thing. It's like they've got a little baptized pool. Baby Lou for a holy water. His close friends called him P. Dippy. <laughs> P. Dippy. <laughs> <laughs> just dips him in baby oil. Oh, man. Unless oh, Achilles there, dude. then it's probably P. Oh, Jesus. Say, oh, my God. <clears throat> hey, man, I just know that if Diddy ends up going where R. Kelly is, the talent show is going to be off the hook, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they have that prison talent show, dude. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Oh, They're like, we're going to do a reenactment of Star Wars. Yeah, but can you put your clothes back on? <laughs> He's like, what are they going to do, arrest me more? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Good point. <clears throat> they throw him out of jail. They're like, all right, now get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. You can't have you in here. You can't, can't have this shit in jail, dude. Get out of here. You can't be doing this. You put your clothes on, bro. For the love of God, somebody change the subject. <laughs> no, don't. Well, speaking of parties, um, there's been a recent uh, uprise of a new style of party going on. Uh, Diddy parties? No. <laughs> no, no those are on the decline rapidly. Those are on the decline. <laughs> uh no we have the uh silent disco parties okay or silent ballets what the hell is this guys what is it danny go ahead danny well so um so basically the front of house mix instead of putting it to speakers it goes to like headphones so everybody there is listening in headphones. That's what a silent disco is. Sounds horrible. Like, in this motherfucker. Okay, so the cool part is is that when you're you're, you're there and you you have headphones on, you're like dancing and having <clears> a great time, right? But then if you were to take those headphones off, all you're hearing is like the scuffling of feet and people like breathing all heavy and like <laughs> trying to like half-ass sing a song out of key, all like. And then, and then somebody cuts a fucking fart and shit. And you're just like, what oh, is dude. going on, dude? <clears throat> dude, I'd be like, dude, everyone's got headphones in. I'm ripping them all night, dude. Let's go. Let them go. Yeah. Let them fly, right? So it's basically, it basically ends up looking like one of those fucking, those music videos where they take the music out and they're all like, like scuffing around and shit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. People singing all But along. apparently this is now a new, uh, way of doing a concert well what i want to this... do what i told rob is what we should do is we should have a, a silent disco and then we film everybody that comes freaking out dancing rocking out having a good time and then we take that footage and then we just edit it with squeaky foots and farts and stuff and then we post it. <laughs> but i don't even, i don't even think you need to edit it in like it's already <laughs> it's already there <laughs> just use the actual audio Yep. Yeah. We actually had to edit. We actually had to edit the audio to remove some parts. So. <laughs> <laughs> to remove the parts, so you can hear the squeaking of the feet. Oh, this episode's just gonna be me laughing like a dumbass for thirty minutes, dude. Oh fuck. Yeah. Wait, is well, that uh, Jamie last day's workcast. Yeah. Oh man, my face hurts, dude. Oh fuck. <clears throat> but yeah, dude, those uh. Um... Yeah, just doing a whole show with no. No fucking umph behind it. If I'd have to have like subs going. In... That's what I'm saying. Like I, I go to a show to feel the music. You know what I mean? Like you, that you don't. You're not gonna get that if everyone's just going into the into the into their headphones, right? Because you because that's the purpose, right? Is for it not to be loud, so there would be no actual right. music coming out of big speakers. But then you oh, gotta remember, weird. like, you're with a bunch of people that like the same fucking band you're there to see. So you guys are all kind of on the same, like, fuck yeah, yeah. Be on yeah. that way, like, together. 
I, I just I think it takes away from the I think it takes away from the experience though because there's the you know but like Rob said it's, I think it brings in you know I don't know farts it's kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of brings in a whole I'm, I'm pretty thing. sure there's a lot of farts there yeah uh, I think regardless <clears throat> there's farts happening right oh yeah, yeah dude. I mean, do you fart if you, you know, if you, you don't have headphones on, you won't fart? Bro, this is a true story. When I went to go see Dayseeker, I farted so bad, dude, in that crowd. <laughs> and, like, I I turned around to, like, make a face. Like, I smelt it first. Like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, you know, like, who the fuck farted type deal, dude? <laughs> Somebody, you really did that. <laughs> And the girl behind me just got like this awful look on her face. She's like, "Oh my god, who did fart?" She's like, "Yo, it was you, huh?" <laughs> that was totally me, dude. <laughs> blame, no, that's what you said to her. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh, that was so funny. Sometimes you just gotta go. Let's do this. Farts Let's Holy do shit. this. What if? What if there was a uh, silent disco P Diddy party? Oh no. I don't know. I don't think that, I, don't think, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of silence in those parties too. <laughs> Just hear a bunch of slipping and sliding and clapping and fucking. Is it? Cheeks clapping. <laughs> hey, what, what the hell would the music be like? What What would you listen to? So I think you would want music, so you wouldn't have to listen and hear all that shit. It's just R. Kelly in the back in the fucking head. Oh, please, somebody help me! I can hear. I can hear what's going on. Nobody oh my god! The soundtrack to the silent discos, <laughs> fucking R. Kelly. Where's my head? Oh, oh damn! Horrible. <clears throat> uh, everyone's like, it. everyone's like, Diddy, you have your own song. She's like, it's R. Kelly or nothing, dude. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's R. Kelly or nothing. <laughs> or put the lube away. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, but this brings us to the flip side. Uh, where we have the topic of raw doggy. Not what you think. Uh, and before <laughs> you go there, it's not. It's not that one. It's, uh, it's not the fun raw dog. It's a new term used for when you travel on an airplane with no headphones, no music, no movie, no book, no magazine. You are just watching the in-flight screen or reading the pamphlet in front of you and just chilling your whole flight. I love that poor people try to make it a thing. It's like, if you're poor, just say you're poor, dude. It's okay. <laughs> just like you don't have a fucking headphones. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question. What about, I know you said airplane. What about, uh, my dumbass circumstance happened. I took my family to Universal Studios. We left the parking lot and I realized I left my phone in the car. Rather than walk back, I spent the whole day without a phone, and I didn't go on half the ride. So I sat there and fucking people watched for hours. No phone, oh, no dude. nothing. No, don't so, get me wrong. That's different. Okay, okay I wanted to know, is that different? Yeah, I would say there's, there's a bigger difference because, one, you're trapped in this fucking tight little vessel, shoulder to shoulder with people. I mean, maybe not for <clears throat> people but for me it's like <laughs> okay this is not going to be you know it's like getting on a roller coaster yeah they're fine for the two minutes three minutes you're on it but when you're strapped to it for three hours you're just like god let me the fuck out of here that's what she said there we go okay you know, I, was waiting, I was waiting i was waiting for the sentence to finish <laughs> uh yeah, so for me, uh, I I could do it. Do I do it? Sometimes. Uh, but it's because normally, like, I'll lend my wife my headphones and be like, you chill, I'm cool. And when you pass out, I'm going to rip them out of your ears and put on my music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Just, you're done. My turn. Uh, but, like, I'll, you know, it's, but, like, I'll, bring a magazine or something to chill with, you know, okay, hey, you do that, I'll, I'll fucking just read this. Whatever. Bro. But I, 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 I my personally ADHD couldn't do it, would not allow me to sit on a plane for that long without something like, all right. I need all the distraction possible because I am terrified of flying. I don't like it. Uh, 
I've done oh, you don't have to do it. The airplane does it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot's got that. Don't worry about you. You don't have to fly anything. Don't worry about it. The pilot's God, got it. Thank you, my like, <laughs> fucking pilot. <laughs> you just got to sit down and enjoy the ride. Oh, just relax. But it's always been a big fear of mine. I don't like flying, and I really don't like the ocean. But uh, you so flying fly over, over the, the ocean, ocean is terrifying. The flying over the ocean is terrifying to me. <laughs> Yeah, imagine oh, doing it with a catapult. Danny, you've traveled a lot touring with uh, different artists and stuff like that. Uh, what Have you ever had the raw dog? Um, I, I think that I, I somewhat raw dog every plane flight I've ever taken in my life because really? first thing is, yeah, well, first thing is I can't, I won't sleep on a plane. I can't, you know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, I can't get interested in a movie. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm on a fucking box 30,000 feet in the air so I'm just <clears throat> a lot of a lot of time thinking and processing things you know are we counting pre-game or uh, gaming during the flight as part of the raw dogging well, you, about drink, you talking I about drinking you pre-game I think you pre-game as much as you can when you can when you're going to go on a flight you know if it's well, yeah, yeah. Or hurry but you I'm know. saying, like, is raw dogging including just, nope, straight sober, here we go. <laughs> like, that's rough. I don't know. That's yeah, that's asking really? for a lot, bro. Now, now you're getting crazy, dude. Relax. I mean, is that, like, <laughs> borderline spectrum? Is it, what is that? Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I don't think, I. yeah, I need to drink. I, I at least need to drink one or two Jack Cokes or something. you ever just push yourself out for a flight? Yes, I have. Just... Mm-hmm. Nah. Yeah. But you're scared <clears throat> of flying, but you'll fall asleep on a flight? Dude, okay, so I fell asleep on a flight uh, one time, and on the way back, the plane started, you know, like, this, it starts to drop altitude for a little bit before it comes to, to start uh, circling the airport to land. Well, as it started dropping was when I woke up, and I just felt the plane going down. And so I woke up screaming, and the lady next to me just fucking died. She just died laughing, dude. I thought, dude, I legit thought it was over, dude. I thought that was, I was like, this is it. We're all going to fucking die. And why am I the, why am I the only one screaming? I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah, man. Man. So, so that's the flip side to fucking falling asleep on a plane is waking up when you're fucking dropping down a little bit in altitude. Fucking, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, waking if up when you're coming down, that sucks. If the, we the, ever... flying part, the flying part doesn't really scare me. The part that I hate the most is airports. That's, for me, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be there. Get me the fuck on the plane. I want to land. I want to get the fuck out of the airport, and I want to be on with it, you know? Oh, yeah. I hate it. I hate all of it. I hate if TSA. We ever, and... If we ever get lucky and we're able to tour and take a plane, I sure hope that people who get on the plane with us are cool as shit because if you pass out, Mark, I'm gonna make sure everybody in our section switches fucking seats. So when you wake up, you're sitting next to somebody so you don't even know what the fuck it is. I'm like, what the fuck? Can we change flights? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You gotta, We're you gotta get them to all switch. And she's you gotta get them to all Spanish. That's what I'm saying. You exactly. gotta get them to all switch and convince me that like I'm in a different flight. Like, what the fuck? What's going on? Oh, we got you, brother. You're gonna end up in the cargo bay. Oh <laughs> man. The, the hardest problem is I... gonna be where the fuck do we hide Rob? <laughs> right? Oh, don't worry, I can hide myself. What about you, Josh? You think you could raw dog a flight? Yeah. I could. Just because to I Vegas. have <laughs> Yeah. Just say I don't know if I could do it across the ocean, but if we're talking a couple hours, yeah, just because I... Yeah, like U.S. flights, yeah, I could do it. Yeah, it, for it's sure. It's not that like big how, of a deal. How comfortable, how comfortable do you get from, like, Ontario Airport years. in Southern California to Vegas? It's like, what, a 45-minute <laughs> flight? It's, it's, yeah, a usually fart, it's a fart and a half. Count the airport time. I mean, it's you a fart and a half peanuts. away, dude. You get on, you go up, and then you're already going down. So it's kind of like, yeah, that's, I mean, but yeah, I believe, I would say that I've done a few flights, like from like LA to Salt Lake, where I've just kind of grinded it out with nothing, you know, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll thumb through the whole fucking safety pamphlet and kind of giggle at it a few times, you know, and sometimes there's a magazine in there, I'll flip through, but you know. Yeah, but that's what, an hour and a half flight? Yeah, yeah.
I'm not talking. I wouldn't do like a like a long flight. California no, to I Hawaii. Bring a book. Six I would hours. read a book or something. Yeah. The most terrifying flight I ever took was from Dallas to Louisiana because they had you get on this little tiny ass fucking tuna can that seats like twelve people, and yeah. it's so, it's so fucking terrifying. Hey, and hey, then, do you, uh, do Miami to Bahamas? You want to you want to talk about a scary plane? Get on some of those oh, yeah? little island jumpers. Those are fun. Yeah. No, thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah. that shit's terrifying. Fuck yeah, that. Go out of the country. Yeah, so you go to you could go to some spots where you're not on like you're not dude, on like. Dude, a, like, a like it looked like it looked like, it looked like Rob wanted a Seiko pack where he came from. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Lives in Texas for three months, dude. All of a sudden, go back where you came from. <laughs> No, but like you, you go to any country and everyone's always like standing there with big old fucking guns, just like, oh shit. They mean business here. It's so dumb, dude. Yeah, oh, I take fuck. I've been on a few planes where you're, you're kinda like like, damn, this is gonna be an interesting one, you know? And then you land and then you go to an airport and then you get on the bigger plane, you're like, Okay, for some reason I feel safer now, but Yeah. You know. Yeah. You guys, bro, uh, have, have any of you guys flown out of Dallas? Nope. Before? Uh, no. Uh, dude, Fort Worth? that airport, that, that airport sucks, dude. You have to like, hey, I had to take a bus thing, in the airport the to go to the other good, side of the airport. The only thing yep. about good about Fort Worth is they used to have a Smoothie King in it, and that's it. Other than that, what? Smoothie King, baby. That's it, dude. He says that's sir. the only good thing about an airport is a smoothie. The king. only good thing is smoothie kings. That's it. Everything else, I don't want to be there. What's your go? What's your what's your go to flavor smoothie, Danny? Go. I do. I like the like uh, strawberry banana type uh, type right. smoothie. You know. What about you? Right. What do you got? I like the uh, the orange Julius. That guy it tastes like a fifty fifty bar. Yeah. There you go, Rob. What about you, Josh? Oh, go ahead, Josh. <clears throat> I was going to say both, but anything with bananas, because my wife fucking hates bananas. So I take pleasure in <laughs> drinking that, and then the smell. Uh, you want to drink? And having her complain about the smell, and you're just like... <laughs> oh, oh, fuck yeah. Or she'll forget, and then, can I have a kiss? Oh, what the fuck? What about you, Rob? Uh, I always get the strawberry margarita. Oh, <laughs> that, is, that a, is that a smoothie? <laughs> that was good. Is that, is that? Yeah, you just get it blended. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Take one of those uh, strawberry smoothies you got back there, sir. We don't serve smoothies. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. These are, these are like a <laughs> breakfast smoothie, right? <laughs> Give me the fixings. I'll add the tequila. Just... These, Give me that. Like a... we can do this. These breakfast smoothies are amazing. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when you add your own tequila. Oh, man. Yeah. So, gentlemen, is there any last things you guys want to talk about before we wrap this up? Um. Before we start plugging anything, I just want to say yeah. to everyone out there, please be safe. Look up at the skies and make sure they're not dropping baby oil all over your yard. Oh, it, well, it'll just be a if, you if, if you're not anywhere near a pool full of dildos, I think you'll be safe. So This yeah. Halloween, watch out for Diddy <clears throat> attack. Holy shit. <laughs> And also let us know if you guys raw dog like us, because apparently we all raw dog. No condom forever, whatever Black Panther said. Okay? So, we got it. <laughs> you guys, this has been the last day of Warcast. <laughs> this has been the last day of the Warcast. Please check out all the links in our bio. Like, share this, it all helps. We have a Kickstarter going for the next few, uh, for the next few days. Check it out. Hey. New singles coming, new album, shows coming up. We'll talk to you next week.